Hello friends and gamers and welcome to Fortress. My name is Jinx and today we're looking at the campaign medals for France for Global War 1936 version 3. This is for the Spring Offensive of 2021. So as you may know, the campaign medals are a series of three ribbons, which will show which nation, uh, which campaign you attended, which, uh, how much prestige, how many accomplishments you achieved within the game, kind of their own set of kind of victory points within the tournament setting itself, and a national ribbon to show which nation you played, We'll have a gold or silver star showing um, if your alliance won first or second place, and also have an oak leaf to represent if you played more than one major nation. So if you showed up and were playing as the allies and your two other teammates called in sick, well, you know, you would, uh, you'd be recognized for the effort you put into it as well. So that's quite nice. Now, this French sheet, when it comes to the prestige ribbons and the workings of how you get the prestige stars, is designed by Panzer King. I haven't touched it whatsoever for me. Um, for me, I wasn't great. I wasn't absolutely keen on the idea of having another major nation because France um, is fun to play, but it has so little to do that it's nice that America could actually play it because then you have some action through France and through the KMT as America. And then uh, once France is dead and you can start looking at other things, then eventually America comes to the forefront and it's just a bit more interesting for USA to play France, right? So I wasn't crazy about having France because it's nice to have like six players seems to be the good amount. But um, Panzer King suggested it was a good idea, and it is a good idea at the end of the day, because France is a major nation, and therefore it should have its own campaign medals that it exists on here. So well worth noting, well worth diving into and, and tackling it and, and uh, figuring it out. But I haven't looked at it in very deep detail. I just basically copy-pasted what he put into email into this copy here. And so we'll look at it together and we'll kind of sort through it. So any advice you guys have, please feel free to forward it back to me, especially naming as well. I don't have any names on any of these stuff. I'll just, uh, we'll improve it together and uh, tackle it all at once. So one quick thing too, if you're playing as two major nations, right? If you're playing as USA and France and say evolved KMT, but forget about the KMT for now, <laughs> USA and France, they start off the game as major nations. So you could actually choose which nation ribbon you want on there. Most people I'd imagine will choose the one that did the best, right? Like, so if, if America was the one that got three or four stars, then they might want to wear the national ribbon with, you know, the national ribbon of USA, because that way they could have the prestige ribbon with three stars on it, as opposed to having a French ribbon with just one star, you know, that's the idea there. Okay. So let's dive into this together and uh, give you feedback too, if you guys like from from stuff about what difficulty you think these things are, if they're balanced enough, or if it should be harder, or if, if you even have ideas that you think are better. We're very welcoming of any ideas, guys. It's a team effort, and it's, I think the more minds we bring to this, the better it turns out being. Okay, so here we have it. Tier 1. Gain a prestige start if, at the end of the game, Free France controls more land zones than Vichy France. So that's kind of doable. There's that roll that occurs, and it's set up in, in zones, right? You roll for this area, this area. So if at the end of the game you control more land zones than Vichy, then you get it. And I think that's quite doable to do for Tier 1. Next Tier 1, we have Gain a prestige start if, at the end of the game, Free uh, France slash Free France controls one ground unit in, in the land zones of London or Paris. So London, Paris, um, I think that's worth noting as well. So I, I came to this realization before that once France is dead, once France no longer exists, it never comes back. Free France is in the, in play at that point. And yeah, free France can use like the, the tech chart and the build chart of, of regular France, but I am not sure if you get the wartime bonus as free France if you recapture Paris. It never says in the rules that it reverts back to being French, right? So that's interesting. I'm not sure if you get a wartime bonus as Free France. You only as France. So I could be wrong in this, but we'll just go with it. <laughs> okay, next up on up, we have gain of sea star if at the end of the game, France or Free France controls one capital ship in the Mediterranean. Now that's a little bit harder to do because you may have lost all your capital ships to the you know, to the Vichy or to the Germans, right? Or have them sunk. So that might be harder to do. You might have to build yourself a ship. And so that means that you'd actually have to capture territory where you could build a ship. So if you capture Normandy and, and Paris, you might have to quick, quick, quick start building your capital ship. So that's one way of looking at it. So you see the info I need on here is if you have any alternative suggestions for what these ones are, please share it with us and I'll correct it. If you have a name they would like to put on here, that that's, uh, you know, a French name that with the English translation, please share that as well. And um, I'm not too bothered about making a proper French one because there's no French player this game. 
but it still would be good to have. Okay, all right, so there's that, there's that, and next up we have tier two. You gain a prestige star if, at any point in the game, Free France regains control of a French home country land zone and maintains control for a full game round, from the end of the French turn to the end of the following French turn. Now, French home country is Paris and all adjacent land zones to Paris. So that means, you know, Picardy, Normandy, Aquitaine, Southern France, and Alsace-Lorraine, as well as Paris. So yeah, you gotta grab onto it and hold onto it for a full game round. Now this one I would name Operation Dragoon because that existed back in the day. Um, Operation Dragoon was was um, a free French effort to do a landing on so in southern France, if memory serves. So that's what I'd call that one. All right, next one up we have in a prestige star if at any point during the game Vichy France surrenders. So to make them surrender, you have to capture uh, southern France, I believe, and then all their units across the whole board surrender. So this functions as a capital for Vichy France, so you'd have to do a direct attack against there. So that would be uh, quite doable, I think. All right, get a prestige star if, at the end of the game, land zones uh, with a printed French roundel are not controlled or adjacent to land zones controlled by a member of the Commenter Alliance. This is kind of similar to the victory point that exists for France, is if you have Austria, Navarre, and Catalonia controlled by the Soviets, then that is dangerous ground for the, the French. Not only those two territories, of course, but Belgium, etc., etc. Right? And um, is hold on, where, which one is that? Land zones with a printed French roundel are not controlled or adjacent to land zones with a member of the Comintern Alliance. I keep messing this up. Okay, so it's not only those two territories, but there's some French territories here that you have to have, uh, you know, this can't be held by the, the Soviet forces. And likewise, over here as well, the CCB can't have won this. You know, they can't hold any of these neighboring territories. It's a little bit more hard, harder. Next up, we have Tier 3. Gain a prestige start if, at the end of the game, France or Free France controls all land zones with a printed French round all. So basically recovering all your... Lost territory. I believe this one is also a victory point in the base game, so that would quite work. Another one. Gain a prestige star if, once at war with a major power, France or Free France controls the land zone of Paris for a full game round, from the end of a French turn to the end of the following French turn. Now that is a tasty one. I like that one quite a bit, actually. It's basically, um, if normally when Germany goes to war, they do, uh, you know, their, their lightning war, where they go push through Belgium with, with their tanks into Picardy, and down to Paris within a single turn, single German turn, or whatever, you get the picture. So for France to hold on to their territory uh, for a full round means that you have to survive essentially two attacks. You have to survive the first German lightning war attack, but you also have to survive the second German uh, push as well. So it's doable if Germany decides to go eastwards into Russia instead of westwards here. So in uh, Tanks on the Tundra, a game I played, I played as Germany and I didn't attack any French territory. It went all out into Russia. In fact, um, the French got quite strong to the point I couldn't even defeat them, even after I defeated Russia. And I had a lot of difficulty pushing them back. So I think I took Belgium, but then the French grabbed it. Then I, uh, I think at one point the Allies grabbed Northern Italy, and maybe even grabbed Austria before I pushed them back off of that as well. So I don't think I lost any German territory to them, and neither did they lose uh, any French territory to me. <laughs> That was an interesting game. Okay. Gain a prestige star if, at the end of each French or Free French turn, France or Free France controls Paris. So basically it means that you control Paris until the end of the game. Um, you never surrender Paris. Paris always stays in your hand. And that would be similar to what I said about Germany just going east instead of west. In that case, yeah, Paris is going to stay in your hands. And that would be a worthy victory. Um, you basically... You basically get two of these at once, right? You get this one and this one because they're both almost the same thing. Um, not quite though. This one is basically Germany not even bothering with France, and this one is Germany kind of moving slow into France, right? So they're a little bit different, but uh, different enough. So give us your feedback on that if you like. And tier four, gain a prestige star if at the end of every French turn, France controls all French home country. So basically, you are never losing any French territory. So as you saw over here, this one up here was France controls, France or Free France controls Paris here. But the other one is 
France or Free France never loses any French territory, a French home country. So that's that's interesting. I think that would be doable as well. Like I said, in that game where Germany goes this way, so France could do that. But it's so dependent on the Germans at that point, the Axis at that point, it's hard to judge. Last one, we have gain a pursuit star if at the end of the game, France or Free France controls one ground unit in Paris. So in this case, it's sure France might fall, but then France can recover and they do a slow push and they don't have to capture Berlin. But if they, you know, if they have a unit there at the end of the game, that's all right. So that would work quite well. Now, that's it for all what we have here. I would um, probably look into things a little bit more. For instance, maybe there'd be one if France holds on to Bavaria at the end of the game, because uh, that's kind of where the Rhineland, I guess the Rhineland's up here. Down, well, it's in both areas a little bit, right? So that's kind of the French quarter. Um, what else? Maybe some stuff similar to the British where Europe is generally neutral. Um, what else? Maybe something where communist units are... Yeah, that one actually is already covered. But yeah, you get the picture. There could be other few things too about um, if France has a certain amount of tech or a certain amount of units or a certain amount of infantry or a certain amount of fortifications or ships or something like that. So that would work quite well. Um, let's say if France has more ships than the Italians or more ships than the you know, Germans or something along those lines, that would work quite well. But France is difficult to do. So that's part of the reason I didn't want to do them. <laughs> because there's, there's enough on my plate without having to do anything else. Okay, so that takes care of France. Um, give us your thoughts and feedback on it. It is designed by Panzer King, and um, it's, I really appreciate that he tackled this one for me, and, and I think it works so good. He's been a great asset to me as well to, to throw some ideas at him as well. So it's been fantastic. So I'm not too worried about the French one. If they're not finished by the time the game starts, um, yeah, I'm okay with what we have here, and maybe next year we'll change it up to be a little fancier. But give us your thoughts and feedbacks as well, and uh, I will uh, change it as, uh, as I have time. Talk to y'all later. Cheers.